Okay, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Showtime does the Blaze of King, and after recording almost an hour without game sound, I looked it up, and apparently I need a whole other device in order to actually hear the game sound through Elgato while using headphones. So, you know what? I just said, forget the headphones. I want to do this with you guys, so even if the sounds are a little less creepy because I don't have headphones, oh wow. Okay. Like, please. So yeah, we're just gonna go in this without headphones, and it might be a little less creepy for me, but you guys will be able to hear the sound, and that's what matters, right? Okay, so this had me uncover basically nothing. I thought that would be like, I don't know, a tender box or something. Okay, just ignore that everything went red for a second. thing that literally just happened. <sighs> well then. not going to read this one for me. <clears throat> the lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can to move them to the wine cellar. Did that just open up? Where did I come from that way? I think I came from... There should be more coop rides. Let me see, let me see. And one part, aqua force.
It's weird that they said there was some living shadow or something following me, but I haven't seen it yet. I've definitely felt it, but I have not seen it. Ooh, what's this? Chemistry not. Ooh. Oh, what the fuck? <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit so you guys can hear me a little more, and then I'll read over this, I guess. This is my third attempt to produce artificial value. What? What the fuck does that say? Vitae? Artificial Vitae. Sure, we'll go with that. The form of compounds lack the potency I need. But, I sense I'm close. Clement... I almost said Clementine, but that... Did... What the fuck is with half of these words? Calamine and Orpiment are given, and the Cuprite binds them well. This time, I will attempt Aqua Regia instead of Aqua Fortis, and hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid. Acidic? Sure, that's what they meant to say. And proves impartial to put to use any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I'll find an alchemical solution to my predicament. doing terrible things and take comfort in you. As long as I know I'll think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, or I only create fair judgment and safe return. Is that all it is? It just wants me to read that? Okay. Sure. I thought that was actually going to let me do something with it, but I guess not. Alright, so I came from there, and there's nothing else I can do in here, I guess? Yep. Uh, so can I, like, move this and duck down? No? turn off before it loses all of its fucking So did I do everything I, I want to say I did everything I could here, but I'm also not sure.
on, what if I... Can I take something? Some thought if I drop something down there, uh, something would react. I go back where I came from. Like, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. And a lot of the things that go on in games like this is tons of backtracking. Okay, so that's a key I need. Then the last time I thought I needed a key, it ended up just opening itself, so. Here, there was that red stuff, right? Yeah. I mean, there's nothing I could really do about this. Okay, I just got a random text. Oh! Huh. Hashtag random Twitter follow. That means you guys are listening, right? At least I hope so. hope that's what it meant, not just some random person saw my name and decided to click follow. Then that's not really a bad thing either if they're into Let's Plays. Have I gone through this door yet? Yeah, this is where I came from. through this door because it's the same thing as the other place. Yeah. Wait a minute, maybe now that I have that alchemic pot I can actually do something with it? Let me... some shit in that way. Games like this where they don't really point you in a direction are the kinds that confuse me. Also, I know it's unrelated to October, but... I wonder if I ended up saving my Super Mario 64 videos, because I might go back to that with the program I found that I used to 
beat Undertale, because... Yeah, I know I technically cheated in Undertale, but... Let's face it. I do not have good... Re I have this thing called a scared reflex, where if I think something is gonna go down one way, it goes down the other, and I just kind of twitch involuntarily. So, I'd actually like to just find out where I'm going. Four different chemicals we need to contain. to actually find the chemicals to use in that, basically. So now we're getting somewhere. Kinda. How do I collect the chemicals if it doesn't let me grab any of them that are on the wall? I did find out what I was supposed to do with that. That I did do. Yes, that is how this works. Probably not. But I'm close. totally not how this works. But I'm definitely close to figuring it out. <sighs> if only I could actually figure out where to grab the other things. I imagine there was hints. Alright, let, let's try something. Let's go all the way back to the beginning of the game if we can. Because now that I can actually see where I'm going and have lanterns and tinder boxes and all this good shit, I'm worried that I just fucking locked myself out of being able to do what I need to do. It, ah, completely screwed myself. That's a locked door down there. It came from this way, but that's the point of me going backwards. If I can. Um. What just happened? Did I just die somehow? What? What the fuck just happened? I just died somehow. Okay, um... I... Okay. Like, I'm legitimately not sure what just happened. Like, I 
tried to go back through this door and I died somehow. Oh. Fuck! Okay, so I can't go back. So that means there must be a way for me to continue from where I am, right? you bugs. Do you know anything? fuck something up at the beginning. And now that I'm blocked from going back, I can't continue. Which, they'll kind of suck if I have to start the game over to fix my mistake. But it would not be the first time I've had to do that in one of these games. other door. There's no chemical compound, so did I really just screw myself? Because I for because I couldn't do something in the beginning of the game or so this is a laboratory where I thought there'd be stuff. This game is rather well constructed in places, but how old is this game that I just can't do anything? me do something involving alchemy, which I get, which is cool, but how can I do anything involving alchemy if I don't have ingredients to do anything? This is just taking me back where I was. Oh. Like, honestly, the game went from creeping me out a little bit to just annoying the hell. Like, it's cool that I found out I could run after the game told me I could, but it didn't tell me how to, but... This is the place I ever went. <sighs> I 
Maybe I can look for alchemy ingredients now that I did that other thing. Okay, seriously, is it just not reading off things anymore because it's not into the headset? Whatever. I hereby offer my my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Bernisberg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return. To me, yes. Totally paused in the middle of a sentence. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brandenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal, Royal Court, my lad, and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal, Wilhelm Hausen. Gerich. Barry, open these drawers. Guess not. More box. Door I came in. I've been in here before, but did I look in these drawers? Well, I'll say I did, but I'm not sure. Or if this has just been like a puzzle game, like that one part in Kingdom Hearts where I actually have to replace the books into the right places. I'm gonna actually be so mad if that is the case. But I don't think that is. In Kingdom Hearts, it was kind of an obvious puzzle. In this, there's so many damn books you can move around, I don't think they'd make you move things from one place to another, to another, to another. I don't think. And yes, all I'm really doing right now is making a mess. Trying to find some shit, because so far, a lot of stuff has been hidden behind books and boxes and stuff. Guess this is not one of those games that's good to uh, blind play when it's your first time. When uh, it's one of those games that doesn't exactly tell you what you're supposed to be doing; it just kind of hints at it every so often.
so that's another locked door. I really don't want this to be a game I have to fucking rely on a walkthrough for just because I've never played it and it's kind of not even, like it's literally not even doing anything if I don't figure it out. to open every door and turn on every light before shit happens or Is that another tinderbox? Oh. Something tells me I should be just turning on every light. But then something else tells me I shouldn't. Okay, well, I haven't been here before because I would have picked up that oil, had I? finding scrolls and that's neat and all but I don't think I need those or else they'd be out of my inventory. Okay, that's a door laying on the ground. I'm still looking for alchemical supplies and... Oh! 
Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. So I should probably... Before I go through there, I'm gonna... It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. Unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. a bit excessive. You can never be too careful, Daniel. Oh good, it's all these kind of puzzles. Oh. Okay, it's a book-related puzzle.
I'll sit at and burn the Rundberg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore as Alstadat, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brandenburg. The quiet forest clad mountains, dressed with the scattered lakes as, as picturesque as can be. Albeit the area is haunted by the dark, ask any local and you will hear proof of widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will all serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. <clears throat> the Gatherers. The story reaches all, all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandon their duty get lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies rot by their tainted souls have left them dis left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. Is their prey, which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dried behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well known erudite, visited Eldestat at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked at the remnants of the kingdom's past. During his stay, all the prominent members of the society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away as Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Elistad, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who is this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? Jesus Christ. Excuse me, I need a drink. Because <coughs> I've already read three fucking listings of this. Jesus. So hopefully my oil's not running out while I'm reading this. That'd suck. The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenburg was a reclusive, or lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Eldestat. And like most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Persian state. Alexander the Great? Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron in fact is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago lived through the time of occupation and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country.
try to light everything in here, actually. See if that unlocks the door. Because knowing this game, who knows? No. Oh, right, 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 right. Forgot. Okay, so there's one. Is the other one just this one? Is this the only other one? Is the one over here? No, there are three. One, two, three. Okay. Now, does it have to be in a specific order, or do I just gotta pull them out one at a time? Guess we'll find out. should be more tender somewhere, and if not, I do have... <laughs> Regarding closing at the, of the wine cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brandenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe we'll feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both my problems. Oh, is that a key? That's a key! Can I hide in here in case something else happens? I don't really know what would happen to where I need to hide. I haven't really seen anything creepy yet, but you never know. That door just opened. Is this the door that was locked before? Yep, that's the door that was locked before. So this is going to take me to where I needed to go all along. How do I get back to where I was is the better question. How long have we been doing that? Oh, another almost hour! Uh, I wonder if I should just cut off here or. Now, fuck it, I'll get back to where I'm going first before I cut off the episode at all. Okay. Just saw something moving over here. That kind of adds to how creepy things are. Wait, was this the door I need to go through? Yes. I actually feel my hair standing on end. And that's without, uh... Using headphones. So the game still does a good job of being kind of creepy. Oh god! Oh god! Move, 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 move! I don't know what's attacking me, but move! Oh god. Um.
Wait, was this here I was supposed to go? It was wherever the locked door for the wine cellar was, which I think was this way. Either way, I was getting attacked as soon as I came through here, or as soon as I came back this way, so I know I'm doing something, right? Maybe it's not down this way. I do remember there was a door somewhere with a key. Was it the other half of this? I think so. Also, I really just want to get to the next part of the game before I end off the episode, because I've spent way too much time in the past two episodes just kind of dicking around. Really, I actually gotta use the key. Like, all our games are smart enough to just use the item without having to select it. so I can't really light my path with anything but this. come in from up there.
Oh, cool. Oh, jeez. Alright, we'll read it this last excerpt, and then we'll end off the episode. Why do I keep looking at my desktop when I know the camera's over here? Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> Wilhelm's last words. My name is Wilhelm, House of Gurich. These are my final words, my confession, and my testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the castle Brunnenberg, as most of the aristocracy. I was curious about what this supposed knight of the order could want from me and accept the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid, and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I'd been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy human, kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position when within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but came swiftly and accept whole, accepted wholeheartedly Ever since that day, I've brought men, women, and children to Brandenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we were descended upon the descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So, so begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his del by fucking Christ, diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes and I can no longer... See, at least it wasn't isn't one of those horror games where it's like you're gonna be sitting here for a little while and then just something's gonna open it up and scream at you. I know I said I was gonna end off the episode after reading that, but I will admit I'm kinda I'm kinda into this. Like, the beginning of the game was actually kind of pissing me off, but by this point I'm kind of intrigued. Is anyone there? Oh, what's this now? here but our schools. Yes, that is a great light. I like how withdrawing the fucking lantern sounds like a shock. Yeah, that sounds like a fucking shotgun. for good. Dude, that's useless.
thought, I thought that was something on the edge of the thing. Did I just run out of fuel or? Actually, something that can help increase my health. That's good. That's good. I won't use it yet. Um. Feeling that at some point I'm just gonna be looking at something and whatever the fuck that was is just gonna come out of nowhere and try to scare the shit out of me. Quite literally, actually. Maybe I should just end off the episode. I have shit to do in like an hour. Oh, is that the last one? It'll be the last one. Actually, is that why you move for something else? Or? Find out, why don't we? Since, uh, 
I should have ended this off 20 minutes ago, but... I think this is the last one I'm going to record for today, so... Let's go see if I have the ingredients that are needed. So I still need to find two more. Fuck. Okay, I think getting halfway done with whatever I'm supposed to do here, which <coughs> I imagine I'm supposed to find chemical ingredients in order to get rid of that red stuff in those couple places. I think that's what I'm supposed to be doing, so I think I'll end off here, and we'll get back to this later. Maybe I'll actually look it up, maybe I'll dick around off screen until I find out where I'm supposed to be going, but I have no clue right now, and we're already more than an hour into the episode, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed at least seeing a bit more progression this time as opposed to the first, like, 10-15 minutes of the first video being me just kinda walking around in circles complaining, and that's if I don't edit it to get rid of that timing. But yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed this, uh, don't forget to hit that like button, like, follow, favorite, well, not favorite. Is there any other show social media where they call it favoriting? I don't know. Either way, follow all the stuff down below and subscribe here. And until next time, it's been the Blaze of King signing out. Ta ta for now from this kind of creepy game. Ta ta for now. <laughs>